Well, it's the day before the Wide Takers Dynamite Baits Festival, and I've just poured a load of water on my feet because I'm at the beach. <laughs> Not by myself, I'm with my, my wife and my daughter. We have another little paddle. It's the official practice day, but actually, it's the family day today. There uh, she is. That's my daughter. Go say hello. Go say hello. Oh, are you eating sand? Are you eating sand? Oh no! That's why I've got a bucket of water to wash you up, aren't we? Are we going to have a good festival? Are we? Oh, don't eat that. Oh dear. This is Jenny's. And uh, that's my daughter, just about pushing pram into the lake. Well, it's 7 pm. The day before uh, the start of the White Eggs Festival, I just wanted to get a couple of top kits sorted. The lodge is backing onto Jenny's Lake, and I've got a little bag of casters. Turn these myself, beautiful casters. Uh, I've got some four to six slick elastic that I'm messing around with, and uh, some in the old. Uh, And uh, I'll just show you what I've just caught. And I've caught a tinker. <laughs> Can't be any. <laughs> Won't be many of them at Paul tomorrow. Oh, not very big, is it? A bit more red. A little red. Whee, that's a rope. They're what we want at Porth tomorrow. Lots and lots of roach. Well, here we are at Porth Reservoir. Beautiful venue. Some of them are going to go over on that boat down there, the far bank, somewhere up there. That's where they'll be fishing. And we're, I'm all the way down here, so I've got a barrow, my gear. Peg 20 I've got today, average peg, average section really, um, hopefully no bream but we'll see.
That sounded like an empty feeder. Are you going to have a munch today then, Bream? You are? Are you going to have a munch then, Bream?
found bream. What? Has he had any bream next to you? Yeah, he's got six next to me. Not talking to you now. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, no, I'm no. catching on your meat pies. You do, and they're all catching bream. You could catch roach like that on the pole. Mm. What to do, what to do, what to do. Oh, it's a big one. How do you add, Nick? And I probably had three pound of rod. He's got another one. Huh? Who? Nick's got another one. It's what he does. Anything under three pounds a skimmer. I'll get there in a minute, I'm gonna have to. I've probably got enough of the matches at the moment. I think I've been having rud four or five ounce a piece. I think I can catch 20 pound of these, no trouble. Oh dear. I could have had 20 pound of roach today. I'm having a fisher chuck and they're catching bream. Look at them roach. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do when you're catching big roach like that? Catch twenty pound of these. <laughs> I'm going to be last in section with twenty pound of roach. What are you supposed to do when you're catching roach like that? What a bunk. You lot are catching bream. Oh, no one likes to hear that, Paul. Oh, Captain Cracker. Uh, yeah, go on. You had one roll on your feeder. Put the bagging waggler on. You getting the liners, Tom? You getting liners? What would you do in this situation? Yeah. I'm having a lovely day. Day one, they're always going to show day one, aren't they? Oh, 
always got another one. Well, this way, he had to run after his rod. It's a lot of years. In eight years. How many had two? Two big ones. Great big snake. It's a big snake this. Right, it's a snake. Yeah, it's a couple of pounds at least. Size of that. Yeah, Come on then. I did once, I don't know what happened there. <coughs> wriggly, wriggly worm. Oh, he ain't that big. Oh, bigger Asian. I don't know, he ain't come off the bottom yet. As big as yours. Must be an odd one there. There's always they always come in, don't they? It's a skimmer compared to what you lot have been catching. Right in the poop shoot. <laughs> well, what a day that turned out to be. Um, I've ended up with £22.6. six ounces. Fantastic weight for Porth. Anything over £10 a good day at Porth. Um, I cannot knock the day's fishing. I've had everything. I've caught everything from pole, short pole, long pole. Um, I've had a bream on the feeder. Uh, lost a bream on the feeder. And I've had one big, massive rip round bite. It was obviously a liner or something. Um... And then I've had a small bream and an eel on the long pole as well. So so I've had everything today. Um, maybe I've done a bit too much, but I've caught on everything I've done. So um, 
but 22 pound at poor fantastic weight unfortunately um so the angler in me thinks that was brilliant loved it absolutely loved the fishing loved the banter we've had a right old laugh today um but the match angler in me the festival angler in me is really really gutted because i've only got a fourth out of it so uh um i thought my effort um deserved a second or maybe higher but um no no a, a second at best um, um but my reward was a fourth so uh one bream that's all i needed one a three pound would have got me second uh, and one more bream that one that came off would have got me uh, second in section um i was two and a bit pound off um off one end peg and nick speed on the other end pegs on me by three pounds so 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 the two end pegs I've, I've, they've both had about five or six bream apiece tom to my left has fished really really well I, I can't knock what he's done he's not caught on the pole he's not caught any small fish on the feeder in the first hour so he's gone out he's he's, he's done the the brave thing really and, and just gone out and sat for bream and it's been the right decision on the day and he's just sat it out and he's had i don't know i don't know seven or eight bream something like that i don't i can't remember what he's had but he's had 31 pound um and paul christie to my rights um i've managed to beat him i thought he'd beat me because he'd had four or five bream but they've only gone 20 pound and actually that's what's caught me out a little bit big bream on the method and the pellet feeder and stuff at paul for often really big and they're like four five six pound and actually they've not really weighed that much I've, I've watched most people weigh in and the bream haven't weighed as much as you think so when someone's got four bream i have to think well that's 20 pound and it's not actually they've, they've they're more like three pounds so it's probably 12 pound so for a long long time i was holding my own on uh on silverfish on the pole for a very long time um if i'd have stayed on the pole I w i'm sure i would have had 25 pound you, you saw the stamp of those fish and the speed i was catching them um and that would have been second as well but i actually thought if they've got five six bream some of these anglers then they've got more than 25 pound um as it happened they hadn't so uh so uh, maybe i've made a few wrong decisions well i, I must have made wrong decisions because i've only come fourth if i made the right decisions i'd have come higher than fourth so so um um, but I've been torn between do I stay on these quality roach I'm catching um, or do I go for bream I thought I needed 25 pound plus um, to to get good points and well I, I suppose I still I still did need that so um, I've sat for bream I should have gone a little bit further um, I thought because they're showing everywhere they all come in on on a shorter line say 30 meter line I think if I'd have gone a 40 meters I'd have caught maybe one or two more bream as well. Um, Paul Chris has gone really long to my right and he's had a few, but I think he's gone a bit too far. Tom's gone sort of 50 metres to my left and that seemed about the right distance. But I think if I had a fish 40 metres, I might have gone a bit... I, you know, I just thought, if I just fill it in, I've gone in, you've, I've not, you've not seen it on the video, but I've put a lot of bait in on that, on that feeder line in the end, um, hoping for some fish will settle on it. And yes, I've had a bream and I've lost one, um, but I, I just got an niggling feeling that they were a bit further out. I think the next day, on the Tuesday there, they'll all be in. They'll all be close, and um, they'll probably catch a load on the pole. Um, but on the Monday, with no bait going in, there's bream all over the shop, um, I just think maybe a little bit further out, I'd, I'd have caught them. But I should have stuck on the pole, and I've been second in section £25. I wanted to win the section, though, so, so I, I've had to have a look for a bream. You can't see people catching bream all around you and not have a look. It would have been very, very foolish of me to put the blinkers completely on and not not even give myself a chance of catching a bream. And I've caught one, and I've caught one on the pole as well. Um, I think the peg was definitely worth a, a couple more, to be honest, uh, on the pole or the feeder, but I, I didn't get them, man. Um, it was a fantastic day. I can't knock that. Well, beautiful days fishing, a, a beautiful venue. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. I would have liked a slightly nicer result, but £22 at Porth is not to be sniffed at. And uh, yeah, I'd settle for £22 at Porth every time I go there. So um, yeah, nice day. Not quite the result I wanted, but great to be on the reservoir.